In this video, we are demonstrating the new Simplified Motion Series, or SMS, actuators from Festo. The actuator series consists of seven electric actuator families that operate like pneumatic actuators. They can perform end-to-end -end positioning, or they can operate in a force mode for pressing or clamping applications. Let's take a look. This is the ERMS electric rotary. This model provides 180 degrees of rotation, which means it has integrated hard stops at 0 degrees and 180 degrees. Festo also offers a model with 90 degrees of rotation. The movement we're seeing here is on the fastest speed settings. This is the ELGS-BS Ball Screw Linear Actuator. This model is 100 millimeters long, running on its fastest speed settings. These actuators are available in fixed stroke lengths up to 800 millimeters. And lastly, this is the ELGS-TB Tooth Belt Linear Actuator. Because it uses a tooth belt, this actuator can move up to five times faster than a comparable ball screw actuator, and they're available in fixed stroke lengths up to two meters long. In this second part of the video, we will commission the tooth belt actuator from factory settings. When SMS actuators arrive from the factory, the dynamics are set to the lowest settings, which look like this. This is the slowest speed this tooth belt actuator can move. To change the speed, we use the touch panel to access the parameters. On the side of the integrated motor, there are three buttons used to access and modify settings. There's an edit button and two arrow buttons. On the top of the motor, you can see the six settings we can modify. Let's begin by modifying the speed. First, hold the edit button for three seconds to access the menu. Once in the menu, I can use the arrow buttons to navigate between the settings. Let's start by increasing the speed out, which is the speed the actuator will use to move to the out position. Click the edit button to select speed out. Then use the arrow buttons to max out the speed. When done, click the edit button to return to the menu. Then navigate to the demo setting, where you can test out the motion profile. When done testing the movement, click the edit button to return to the menu. Then click and hold the edit button for three seconds to exit the menu. While in the menu, it is not possible to control the actuator via digital I.O. Next, we will set up the actuator for a pressing or clamping application. When used for clamping, the actuator moves into position, then switches to force control for the pressing operation. In my setup, I have a metal part that I will press the carriage against to simulate a pressing operation. Here, you can see the actuator moves quickly into position, then switches to force mode. After the force movement is complete, the PLC sends the signal to retract the actuator. To set up the pressing application, enter the menu by holding the edit button for three seconds. We need to modify two settings, force and start press. Force corresponds to the motor torque, where level 10 is the maximum motor torque, and level 1 is 10% of the maximum motor torque. In this demo, I will select force from the menu and set the value to 4. Start press is the position where pressing will begin. It's where the actuator switches from positioning to force mode. Let's teach the start press position. Select the start press setting. Next, click the edit button and use the arrow buttons to jog the carriage into position. And then, click the edit button to teach the start press position. Yeah. 